people. We continue with the program and our last segment. We have Miss Fabulous Plus 2018 and joining us on set, we have some fabulous women, I assure you. Uh, you would want to uh, just relax and enjoy the show this morning. <laughs> Give your eyes a little treat. <laughs> so joining us on set, we have uh, Jason Adams. He is the creative director and pageant coach. We also have with us uh, Miss Kara Samlal Singh, reigning queen of Miss Fabulous Plus TNT. And we also have with us four contestants who will be vying for that crown, Miss Fabulous Plus 2018. Good morning and welcome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming. It's a pleasure having you on. I'm looking so much forward to having this conversation with you. Sure. What exactly is Miss Fabulous Plus 2018? Miss Fabulous Plus 2018, well, actually, we have been in existence since the past five years. But for me, Fabulous Plus, although the producer of the show, Mr. Lyndon Ross, has Many other shows yes. that he, he's the umbrella, he's the, he's the cunt, he's the honcho himself. <laughs> um, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, talented mom. Miss Talented Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Impressive. Mr. Impressive. Mr. Impressive. I've never heard of that though. Yes. You need to bring him on set. <laughs> sure, <laughs> never, sometime. <laughs> but Miss Fabulous Plus is dear to me. Yeah. Very, very dear. Reason being... Um, we take the, the format of the traditional pageant, right. that type of thing. But Miss Fabulous Plus says you can be comfortable in your skin. And despite your plus size, it builds your confidence. The show is geared to build your confidence, build women, um, even encourage other plus size women to be a part of. So although you may not be what they, the term as a size one, you're still fabulous, fierce, and I can assure you, some of my ladies can outdo the size ones on Ooh. stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fabulous and fierce, yes. so you are also. Well, uh, <laughs> the coach. It comes with the territory. Yes, yes. Yeah, let's put it like that. But it's there to me, yes. fabulous plus. Yeah. I'd like to talk a little bit about how it has impacted you personally as well, but before we get there, Ms. Kara Samlal saying you are the <laughs> The woman of the moment. Correct. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. How has this experience been for you? It has been revitalizing and refreshing. A very wonderful experience, I must say. Mm -hmm. I must say because Jason has taken us from, well, he's taken me from being a shy, slightly awkward <laughs> plus size girl and turning me into this dynamic, confident bombshell. And mm. I am pleased to say that this pageant has done a lot for me. It has given me an opportunity to where I can give back to other younger women who had problems because when I was growing up, I had issues with my size and being called names in school, you know, it hurts. And came into the pageant and I came in lacking that confidence. And by the time when I was finished, I had the confidence that I needed to face the world, literally, yeah. and take it by storm. So whatever it brings, I'm there for it. <laughs> when you first heard about this particular uh, pageant show, were you excited and, uh, you know, just w wanting to, to join, or were you a little bit hesitant or reluctant? I was hesitant. <laughs> <laughs> very, very hesitant. And I have to say, I have a lot of family support at home, my mom and my dad, and especially my brother, my younger brother. Mm -hmm. He said to me, he said, sis, you can do this try it see if you like it go out go out there you know you get a little shy when you're ready but do it and it turned out to be a wonderful experience jason is compassionate and he's very understanding mr lyndon ross is also he is a sweetheart a real sweetheart and he took his time to basically show us that here what there's a lot more than just being full-figured and mm -hmm. cowering in a corner, you are full figured, but you have a voice. Okay. So use it. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about that transformation process, Mr. Adams. Now, what would have gone into to something like this? Okay. Um, after the talent, because mind you, the talent segment has gone already, and the the delegates would have accumulated their full scoring. Okay. As well as the interview segment. The interview there's a personal interview one-on-one -on -one, mm -hmm. and that would have gone already 
On the final night, we have the introductory speech following the swimwear segment. Mm -hmm. We also have on stage personality interview segment. And rain it up is the evening gang, of course. <laughs> and final question. But during our rehearsal periods, we run facilitation programs that train these ladies, prepare them for stage for life on its on yeah. the whole, um, build confidence. We do a lot of programs, workshop programs. They can tell you as a host of it as well as modeling. Mm -hmm. Because you have to be able to shut that. Yes. <laughs> I love how you said that. Yeah, you must be able to shut to strut and show off yourself. Be confident in your skin despite being a plus size lady. Strut your stuff. Yeah. Yes. And that you did. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I had to. <laughs> so you were no longer that slightly awkward person as you said that you were. I'm still awkward but I'm awkward with confidence. Okay. And I'm loving the woman that I've become throughout mm -hmm. throughout this whole transition. Yes. It's a really good experience and also too I've made some really wonderful friends. Mm -hmm. That, that for me says a lot yeah, because yeah. he what Jason did is that he didn't only teach us to just be more respectful of others as well but he also taught us hey it's okay to build families and friends mm -hmm. and relationships that are long standing and we're pretty close a lot of them I still converse with and I can call them hey sis so 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 happen and they're yeah. there for me yeah. so that is a plus. <laughs> so we have four fabulous women here on set with us, and I'd like you to introduce them. Tell us a little bit about. Definitely. Well, to far right, Miss Santa Cruz, that is Mrs. Dina Dan Claire. Um, very quiet young lady. She gave me very <laughs> quiet but dynamic personality. Also, we have Miss Kokorit, which is Miss Tamara Debre. Um, Following Miss Janine Peters, she is Miss Mover Lavantil, bubbly personality as well. And we have Nicole Reyes. <laughs> this is my glam girl. Ah. This is my glam girl. Oh, I can see that. Right? And <laughs> these fabulous ladies, out of, they are just four out of the ten finalists for the evening, July 7th mm -hmm. at Cascadia, 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, tickets are $125. Showtime kicks off at 8 with me. And 8 is 8, not 8.01. Yeah, not 8 Trini time. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a discipline as well. Yeah. There's a discipline. Yeah. And the ladies, trust me, they have developed that. Even if they were lacking anyone, lacking any discipline, it's a beautiful thing to see. The fabulous plus family on a Sunday is when we rehearse. Yes. Yeah, I need to run away from home just to come down to them and they know that. I love them dearly <laughs> and it's a passion for me, something that I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So we go through deportment, um, self-expression, understanding self, um, knowing that for the final night you become that character on stage, which is you. The character you're developing is you understanding you digging up and knowing like, a lot of them was like wait i didn't know i like this or i didn't know i could have done this and it's amazing to see the transformations yes it's now how long would you say that you would have normally take to work with them to to bring them to this point where they are pageant ready i would say actually it's six weeks but that's like six sundays okay six sundays yeah. full days no no and okay. we are there from three to 6 30 mm -hmm. and we cram everything there into one but it's it's segmented yeah so there's order and these ladies just sucking like sponge just sucking everything <laughs> sucking <laughs> sucking but also we have a group <laughs> they have a whatsapp group oh okay great right so, so there's conversing yeah. happening there and throughout the talent segment that already went you said yes based on on your sort of observation from mm -hmm. previous years gone by what would you say uh, how would you read their talent well we are going upward mm -hmm. right through every show year after year we go a notch up yes. and this year the ladies are presenting a fabulous experience which takes the form of and i like to put it this way a six star experience <laughs> <laughs> so the entire concept is around a six-star experience, six-star experience, 
and the ladies will be in the opening number as waitresses. There's an entire production and storyline, just not coming yes. on stage. The entire show is yeah. a storyline. It's a production. Really? So everything, yes, everything meshes. Okay. So what can we expect on July 7, 7.30? Because the talent segment is over. So mm -hmm. what's next? So we, we just have the introductory speech. Mm -hmm. They have the swimwear right. and evening gown, okay. along with the personality questions. Mm -hmm. and final question and on that said evening we crown the new queen All right now let's talk a little bit about some of the uh, the actual what would have gone into preparing them to speak to walk that's your area correct mm -hmm. and theater arts stage production anything with stage yeah that's, that's my that's my baby <laughs> <laughs> I um, speak properly deportment um, pronunciation, enunciation. I that I drill them like literally <laughs> because they have to be on point on a stage. But besides yes. its competition, one needs to understand that it's a show. Yeah. That persons would be spending an entire one hundred and twenty-five dollars in this go go over season. <laughs> so you need to put out a show yeah. and a show that is of standard and class <laughs> and also boosts the integrity of the brand. Great. And how do you feel about uh, the batch of ladies that you have this year? We year? are ready now. Wow. <laughs> They're very excited. Yeah. Great. The adrenaline so, is there pumping. <laughs> what is your advice to the, the ladies who are vying for this particular spot? My advice to these lovely ladies is to tell them, bring it. Because you're coming to take over a diva's position. Uh -huh. So if you're coming to take over my position, you see the standards I have set. So let them bring it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful closing comments. Where can we get tickets? Okay, you can get tickets at Amra's Travel Agency, which is, on Cap is in Capital Plaza on Frederick Street, Port of Spain. You can also call 321-3037 or you can contact me at 488 Three nine six eight. Great. Thank you so much for taking the time <laughs> to you grace so us with your us. presence. Pleasure. Indeed a pleasure. And we hope to have some more interviews to follow up on this. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could actually see you all at the show and you can have <laughs> first hand footage. <laughs> okay, great. I think uh, one of our a gentleman upstairs is working for Coco Reed, I believe, and uh, he might be there. Okay, yeah? great. okay, great. Wonderful. Party, there you go. All right, so that's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us.